finally caught him. And I was like, man, we got to get this going on. And then now we got the team here. First off, please introduce y'all. I'm so. Terry Aislinger. This is my wife, Casey. We're out of uh, Patton, Missouri. Uh, this behind us is our truck. Uh, it's a 1996 Pete 379. Uh, we built this truck about four and a half years ago, right after they passed the e-log deal. Uh, we wanted something that was a paper log truck that we could uh, run with and continue to the truck the way we uh, we got into it so uh, we uh, we found this one out in California that um, it was the base of what we were looking for and we brought it into the frame off restoration on it and been running it ever since I love it I love it let's let's walk around this like it's DOT inspection uh -huh. okay tell it tell us what you did to it come on now uh, right now uh, we, we just did a change up on it this year and changed a few things on it uh, went with uh, one of Roadworks bumpers I've uh, been pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, Chase Shiver, one of his visors uh, on it. Uh, we went with the uh, bus glass uh, on it, the old school uh, look with the tin at the bottom and the old uh, rubber rings with the bead lock in them. Uh, kind of give it a different look. Um, interior wise, uh, when we built the truck, we took the interior completely out of it. Um, actually body worked the dash, uh, got all the texture out of it, and made it smooth and clean, uh, painted it to match the truck. Um, a lot of people just spray paints over the factory dash, and, and uh, you can do that. It gives it color, but it, it uh, don't give it the, the quality smooth look of it. Look at one out and body that. It. Woo! And uh, floor-wise, uh, that's one of uh, John at, at uh, Badass Customs. That's one of his floors. Uh, we had our uh, local guy, uh, Bradley Wilson, had him do the airbrush work on it. Um, we're running a set of Dynaflex stacks. Um, the tops are newer than the uh, bottoms and the elbows. The bottoms and the elbows were put on there new when we built the truck uh, four and a half years ago. They've held up really good, uh, good quality. The uh, tops, they custom made uh, those for us for the uh, show at Louisville three years ago and uh, cut our stars out in it uh, to match our steps and go with the theme of our truck. Um, the back, uh, when we uh, built this thing, we were taking our kids with us to truck shows. We've got four daughters that uh, used to really be into, into it and into uh, going to shows all the time. So we took the bed out and did a wraparound couch that will fold into a bed. Uh, that'll be one of the things we hope to change uh, this fall and probably go back with a little bit of a bigger sleeper. Um, coming back around the back, there's a mural on the back. Um, has a, uh, a pickup on the trailer that uh, was my grandfather's truck that I own now. Uh, we'll take it to a few shows with us if it uh, works out and uh, they're local. But uh, like today, we've got a, a load on here that we're hauling to the Gulf for AT&T and, &T and, and uh, we, we try to work everywhere we go. So. No, that's uh, beautiful. I love it. This truck was originally a uh, tandem axle truck, uh, 265 wheelbase. We dropped the front axle out of it to make it a single axle. With the vans we haul, we don't haul a lot of weight and we uh, wanted to set this thing up for fuel mileage. Uh, truck in its current configuration will get about eight mile to a gallon, uh, which is comparable with any of the, the hot shot dually type rigs out there, uh, but a lot more comfortable uh, to work with and you have a lot better brakes and DOT legal sleeper and, and things like that. Uh, everybody thinks the truck's way stretched out. It's not, uh, it's a factory wheelbase frame. It looks 300 even though really? it's actually a, you know, it was a 265 wheelbase truck we just removed an axle out of. Um, one of the uh, the things that we've done with this, this here is just an air skirt. Uh, it it throws people off because it looks like a heavy double frame, uh, but it's just, it's just a thin piece of sheet metal that's a skirt to make everything look lower. No, I love it. No, I appreciate you so much. Hey, no problem. The big question is, so how long have y'all been trucking? I've been trucking since before I was born. <laughs> my daddy, my great grandpa, my my grandpa, my great grandpa, my uncle, my dad. They all they all trucked. And so I've been doing it since I was before I was born, and I never got into it until I was with him. And then I'm like, oh man, but I didn't know there was such pretty stuff on the road. We had oh, that's stuff but not. that's great. So both uh, both of y'all driving? I do not. I stay home with our baby. Oh no. So let's talk about that teamwork real quick. Like that teamwork of just you know that life of trucking for people that are in relationships they're they're watching this video uh, their husband or wife is sending out to go on the road I mean any advice for people to just keep a loving marriage and relationship like y'all have <laughs> communication yes communication via text phone call whatever you have to do I, I mean that's it's uh, one of the biggest things we run into is uh, things that uh, people will assume that we don't talk and don't tell each other <laughs> like everything and it's like they know, you know, we we talk and, and communication is, is the key. 
I love so. it. I love it. No, I appreciate that. Um, I know there's a lot of sacrificing mm -hmm. with trucking. If you all could do it again, would you would you change anything? No. We've gone and we've seen and we've done and we showed our girls a lifetime of stuff in just a few short years that they would have never got to see. Like when we go to shows, we take all the girls and then, well, not now, but when they were younger, we took all of them and we would make a two week trip out of one show and we'd stop along the way and see all the kinds of different little um, historical sites or little monuments or fun water parks or whatnot along the way. So they've seen more in their little short lives than I've ever seen in my entire life, probably. No, that's beautiful. It's a good way to travel, and you know, it, it, we always looked at it to where if we were going to a show and taking our family and doing it that way, a lot of people when they go on a family vacation, they'll have to save for a year to do something like that, and they'll spend everything that they worked their ass off to, to save for a year to really give their family something. Where if we worked and took a load there, and she followed me in the car, we may not have cleared a lot at the end of the week, but the load that we hauled and what we did paid for our motels, paid for our food, paid for everything, and we could at least maintain. So it, it paid us to go on vacation with our kids and make some good memories, and it was a, a good way to do it. So. I love that. No, I appreciate that. Thank you yep. so much. You yeah. You. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.